So here is the design we're going to make and this design is available in the description box below. Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do a polyester dust jacket, just like this one, or this one. As you can see, the jacket is going from the inside of the board to the exterior, around the spine, the back, and again in the inside. So this type of protection is really good because it gives a really good basic protection to your books uh, against dust, against poor handling, and you can do that with very little effort and very little materials. You could also do one with card, like this one. Uh, just keep in mind that the card will obviously hide the title of your book, so you want to uh, label it. So the materials we'll need for this session is uh, polyester. So the commercial name is Melinex or Mylar. Permanent marker with a fine tip. Bone folder. A sharp blade and a scalpel. Rulers. You can also have a square to help you make uh, nice co uh, squared corners. And a cutting mat. This is optional, but that is what I'm going to use today. Uh, strip of paper that, gonna, that is going to help you to uh, take your measurements and a pencil with paper. So this is the book I'm going to wrap. So we'll take the measurements. So you can either take the measurements uh, with the ruler. So you will need the measurement and the inside, this measure, you'll need the measurement of the thickness of the board, the exterior of the board from the shoulder to the fore edge. Then you'll need this measurement. For that, you'll need a piece of paper where you can take the measurement from here to here. The external board again, the thickness of the board, and again, the inside of the board. So you can do that with a ruler, just uh, note down all your measurements and calculate that to cut your piece of polyester. There's another way to do it that is, I found simpler, where you can just take a piece of paper and you're just gonna report the uh, measurements on this. So I'm starting to measure with the end of the paper. I'm just gonna put the paper in the inside. Make sure your strip is long enough to cover uh, the entire book. And then here I'm measuring, I'm just putting a mark of the width of the board. I have my mark here and I'm going to take the thickness of the board. Then now the upper board, external part, to the shoulder. And this is why the paper is really interesting because obviously it's difficult to take the measurement of something curved. So you just take from one shoulder to the other. Mark the shoulder. And you just continue the lower board, exterior parts, the thickness of the board, and then the inside. Obviously, this method is better to do if your book is in good condition. If you have a book that is in poor condition, the measurement uh, uh, option is better. So use a ruler in that, ca in that case, so you don't have, you're not handling your book too much. So what I can do is 
I can cut the end of my measurement. So the last measure I took, I'm just going to cut it. And for that, I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to I'm going to follow the lines on my cutting mat. If you don't have a cutting mat with lines, you can use a square to make sure your corner is square. So. Okay. So I'm just following the line. I'm taking a sharp blade and I cut nicely. So now I have my strip of paper with all the measurements that I'm reporting on my polyester. So I can uh, help myself with the rules on the cutting mat, but I'm also going to make a little point, a little mark with my permanent marker, just to make sure that I'm straight. And I'm taking two measurements, at least two. Do three if you feel more comfortable with three. Put back the lid on your permanent marker. And now you can cut it. Now I'm going to take the measurement of the height of the book. So I can continue doing uh, the same with the strip of paper, if you're afraid of rulers. And I can just report the height. Okay. And then we do the same with a permanent marker. So make sure that the, your piece of uh, polyester is straight from the beginning, so that will make your life much simpler. So we cut that, I just don't remember where I put my mark. <laughs> I'm taking two measurements. And now I'm gonna to cut towards me. So I'm changing the orientation of my piece of. Okay. If you want to change your position, the position of your hand, just hold it with your other hand and make sure that you don't move your ruler and continue from where you stop. Normally you should cut in one go if you have a short blade. So now we have the piece of uh, polyester that we need. We, know that we don't need more, we don't need less. So that's all we need now. So we can put aside what we don't need. Put your book aside. And now, if you remember, that strip of paper should have all the measurements that you need. So I'm just going to report that again with the permanent marker. So I have the inner board, the thickness, and then to the sh first shoulder, the other shoulder, and then to the other thickness of the board. And then in the end, that's where you cut, so that's fine. You do that another time. When you're marking, you don't have to take, put like big marks. 
small ones will do, will do just fine. So you need a bone folder that is quite sharp at the, at the tip. And with that, you'll make really nice um, lines. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to join the two marks I had. Again, I'm pressing the ruler. And I'm just going to go with the tip of my bone folder and press it. You can go quite hard this time. And then I'm not moving. I'm keeping my hand on the ruler. I'm just going to go under the polyester with the bone folder and I'm going to press against my ruler. And so we have a nice first uh, fold, as you can see. We're going to mark that even uh, more afterwards. And you just go for the next one. So the one for the thickness of the board is the most difficult one because you'll see that it's not easy to have a double fold next to each other. But here it's working well. Now the first shoulder. At this point, because I'm arriving at the middle of the uh, piece of polyester, I can just turn it and do the same because like this is a bit more practical and you don't have a big piece of polyester to go under. So now we scored everything. We're still gonna need our bone folder to make sure the fold is really, really well done. So I'm taking this, the piece of polyester, and I'm gonna mark the fold really, really nicely. So as I said, the one with the thickness of the board, especially if the thickness of your board is really, uh, it's not that thick going to be a bit difficult and you really go and you press. And make sure that when you fold you really have your polyester is folding straight as you can see that by not having your piece of polyester going this way or this way. Okay, so we continue. I'm following, I'm being helped with the marks I've done with the permanent marker. It's normal if the plastic does a weird sound. It's plastic after all, so. Okay. So now let's see how our jacket fits on our book. So here I'm putting First boards, then being really careful and putting the one around the lower board. And here you have it. If you bother by the permanent marker marks that you've done on the plastic, you can remove them. You don't have to. That's not a problem if they stay on the plastic, if they're discreet. So you can use a nail polish remover 
um, just as simple as the one you can find in your local shop. And with a cotton wool, just carefully remove them. Let it dry completely before putting it back around your book. So now that you finish your dust jacket, it's time to label it. And as we've done in previous video, uh, just use a permanent marker with a fine tip and apply it every time on the same space. Uh, so here I'm choosing the upper right corner. And there you have it, a nice dust jacket.